Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today we continue on chapter 6 uh, which is code conversion This is the outcome for chapter 6 uh, First, uh, you should be able to understand the concept of code converter You can differentiate between encoder and decoder You can design the encoder and decoder circuit uh, you can differentiate between simple encoder and priority encoder and the last one you can construct the boolean expression using a decoder and or gate okay. introduction of code converter code converter circuit is actually referring to circuits can used to perform the operation of converting from one code to another code so the process of conversion, code conversion can perform by encoder Decoder and code converter circuit. So encoder and decoder are two type of uh, devices that we use to convert value. Okay. And then uh, code conversion also required to operate the electronic display that will show the numbers or letters on calculator and clock. So calculators and clock actually the example of uh, applications that can be used. Um, in uh, encoder and decoder process so we look at uh, example of uh, diagram for calculator okay block diagram for calculator so below is actually the simple diagram for calculator so based on this diagram we have input device which is a keyboard and then between keyboard and cpu we have encoder so what is the function of encoder to translate decimal number into binary code okay for example bcd code so first thing that you must remember is actually the function of encoder so encoder will translate from decimal to binary and then cpu will perform the operations in binary and then puts in the binary code decoder uh, used to translate binary code to decimal number okay, uh, which is will be displayed on seven segment display so this example of seven segment display so meaning that uh, you must remember the function of encoder and decoder encoder used to translate from decimal to binary decoder used to translate from binary to decimal okay, we start with encoder Encoder used in keyboard application okay, where activation of a single key must produce a unique binary code to represent the value. So meaning that uh, you need to input only one uh, key okay, which is a uh, decimal key and then each decimal key will be converted into a unique binary code. Encoders have several inputs. Yeah, so you have several input but it can only convert one input at a time into binary code okay. so encoder uh, specify by the number of input to the output so this is actually the category or types of encoder we have 4, 2, 8, 3 and 10, 4 okay. so you have uh, input okay, and also the output Value. So, example, if the encoder is 4 to encoder, so meaning that 4 is actually referring to the number of input. Yeah, so, the number of input uh, is actually the number of decimals. How many decimals that this encoder have? So, you have 4 decimal number. And then the output, okay, based on this type of encoder, so 2, meaning that each decimal number will be converted into two bits. Okay, here, the input is actually referring to the number of bits in binary. Okay, because uh, the function of encoder is to translate from decimal, okay, decimal to binary. So, one decimal number will be converted into two bits of binary. So, we have three types of encoder. 4, 2, 8, 3 and 10, 4. We look at one example. Okay. So the job of encoder in the calculator is translate okay, from decimal okay, to BCD number or to binary. So this is a diagram. Okay, this is a diagram of uh, 10 for encoder or decimal to BCD encoder. 
Okay, when we talk about 10 4, okay, meaning that this encoder have 10 inputs. Okay, 10 inputs and then 4 output. So 10 input is referring to the number of decimals. So you have 10 decimal values. Okay, starting from 0 until 9. And then for 4, wait, 4 output is actually referring to the binary representation. Okay, so one decimal value will be converted to four pieces of binary. So how we can design the circuit okay, for encoder? So designing the circuit involves three uh, steps here: okay, uh, truth table, simplification of expression, and draw the logic circuit. So we will start with deriving the truth table okay, for 10 for encoder. So this is the truth table for 10 for encoder. Okay, so truth table for 10 for encoder. So this uh, truth table, uh, encoder truth table is actually slightly different with the uh, previous truth table yet that you have learned in chapter 2, chapter 3 and also chapter 4. So in previous uh, chapters, the truth table, you have the input that represented by binary, right? But in this chapter for encoder, Okay, because your input is decimal number, so that's why based on this truth table, okay, you need to list down the value of the input. Okay, because your truth, your encoder is 10 for, so meaning that you need to have 10 inputs. Okay, you need to have 10 input, uh, which uh, consists of 10 decimal number. Okay, starting with decimal 0 until decimal 9. And then for the output value, okay, 4, okay, meaning that you need to represent each decimal by 4 bits. And then each bit represented by one uh, variable, which is A, B, C, and also D. So that's why you have 4. Okay, 4 uh, variable of 4 bits. Okay. And then how you can fill in the value in the input and also the output. Okay, based on the input value, uh, so in previous explanation, it said that uh, encoder have uh, several numbers of input, right? But only one input can be uh, activated at one time. For example, okay, for the first line or the first row, what mean by one? Okay, under the value of zero. Okay, so here it meaning that you activated number zero. Or you imagine the calculator, you press zero, okay, meaning that you activate the zero okay, on your calculator. So that's why you put one under zero. Okay, what about the, the other values, one, two, until nine? So you need to put zero. Okay, you need to put zero for all other values because at one time, only one uh, input that can be activated. And after you activated uh, zero, Okay, what happened to the output? You need to convert 0 to binary. So 0 in binary is 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. For the second row, okay, now you activated 1. Okay, you activated 1. Okay, you activated decimal 1. That's why you put 1 under uh, decimal 1 and the other's value you need to put 0. Okay. And what happened to the output? You need to convert. 1 in binary is 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. And then the third row, you activated the next value which is 2. And you convert to binary. So that's why you will get 0, 0, 1, 0. And then go for number 3, okay, number 4, 5 until 9. So for each decimal okay, that you have uh, activated in the input, you need to convert into 4 bit of binary. Okay, so this is how you uh, derive the truth table for encoder. So you need to know the, the meaning of uh, this value. Okay, 10, 4. What mean by 10, 4? So meaning that you need to have 10 input, which is decimal, and then you have 4 output, okay, which is the binary representation. Second step, okay, after you complete your truth table, you need to derive the equation or simplify equation. Okay, so this is the output equations and also the logic circuit. Okay, A is equal to 8 or 9. Why 8 or 9? Okay, because 
if you refer to A, you have four variables, sorry, four output. So you, that's why you need to have four expression. Okay, one expression for each output. Okay, for A. Okay. Okay. So you have two output that equal to one. Okay, so this one and this one. Okay, so based on this output, which number that you uh, activated or you press the number to make sure that A is uh, activated or the A is uh, switched on. For example, the, the, the output will be represented by LED or project display. Okay. So which decimal number that you need to input yeah, to make sure that A is equal to value 1. Okay. So you need to refer to the output. Sorry, you need to refer to the input value. Okay, so the input value, the first A that equal to 1 is when you press 8. When you press 8, so A equal to 1. Now the value is actually when you press 9, also A equal to 1. Meaning that you need to press 8 or 9 to make sure your A is equal to 1. Okay, that means by this equation. A is equal to 8 or 9. Okay, for B, B you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, you have 4 values output that equal to 1. So what inputs that in, you need to enter to make sure that this B is activated? Okay, so you have 4 values, right? Okay, for B. Okay, this value 4 or 5 or 6 or 7. Okay, so that's why your B you will get 4 or 5 or 6 or 7. Same goes with C. So C also you have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you need to refer to the input value. Okay, so for C you will get 2 or 3 or 6 or 7. Okay, 2 or 3 or 6 or 7 and then for the last one D you have 5 ones in your uh, truth table right you have 5 1 okay 2 3 4 and 5 so you need to find the input value that represent for each output okay the first one is 1 okay the second value is 3 okay the third value is 5 Okay, fourth is seven and the last one is nine. So that's why you will get one or three or five or seven or nine. Okay, so this is the expression. Okay, based on this expression, so you just draw your logic circuits. Okay, so all the um, expression uh, needed the uh, gate, uh, which is all, all gate, only all gate. Okay, so A, okay, this is the logic uh, gates for A and then this is for B, C and also D. Okay, and then this is the input. Yeah, so we need that for the encoder, uh, the truth table also the logic circuit is actually slightly different from previous that you learned in chapter 2, 3 or 4. Okay, because in chapter 2, 2 3 and 4, our inputs is actually the variable A, B, C and D, right? But in this case, the input itself is actually the decimal. Okay, uh, then the output will be the variable. Okay, uh, because the function of encoder is to translate from decimal to binary. Okay, so that's why your input must be in decimal, your output must be in binary that will be represented by uh, variable A, B, C and also D. So this is the example, okay, the first example. Okay, we look for the second example, okay, which is for 4, 2 encoder. Okay, 4, 2 encoder. So, this is diagram for 4, 2. Okay, you have 4 input decimal, okay, which is 4 decimal number. And then you have 2 outputs, 2 bits of binary. Okay. So, the first step, you need to uh, derive the truth table. So, for truth table, you have 4 inputs, okay, uh, which have 4 decimal numbers start from 0 until 3 and then you have two output uh, represented by A and B okay, in binary yeah, which is you have two bits of binary and then each row 
Okay, you only can be at one input at a time. So that's why for the first row, only zero will be activated. And then you convert to binary. Second row, one is activated. So what is uh, one in binary is equal to zero, one. And then that two. Okay, so two is one, zero. Then the last one is three. Okay, that equal to one, one. Okay. So the equation, okay, you just uh, write the equation uh, A. So what is the equation of A? So you refer the first value of A. Okay. What is the input for this value? Okay. So it's 2. Okay, and then for another one is 3. So 2 or 3. What about B? So B also you have two values. Okay, the first value is 1. Okay, second value or Okay, with 3. So, this is the equation. Okay, this is the equation for this uh, encoder. Okay, and then, you, of course, you continue with drawing the uh, logic circuit. Alright, so I will show you another example of 4 to encoder. So, this is actually uh, special for 4 to encoder. Okay, so, we have um, another way how we can derive the truth table. Okay, uh, this truth table we call a full version of truth table. Okay, full version of two table for 4 2 and encoder. Okay. So you know that your input for 4, four 2 encoder, you have 4 input. Okay, you have 4 input, and then output is you have 2 value A and B. But the deriving value for this truth table is slightly different from previous truth table. Okay, so from previous truth table, you just Activate only one decimal number at a time, right? And then you convert it into two bits of binary. But for this type of truth table, okay, how you list down the value for the input is actually you assume uh, we have four in, four variable of your input, uh, and then this truth table is actually uh, equal with the previous truth table that you learned in chapter two, three, and four. Okay, which is uh, how many combination if you have four inputs? Uh, if you have four inputs, which is you have A, B, C in your truth table. So how many combination? Okay, you need to have sixteen combination, right? Yeah, because two power of n. Yeah, so two power of four, so you have sixteen. So you need to have sixteen combination of zero and one. Yeah, so this one two power of four. Okay, you have sixteen combination. So you just list down the combination of 0 and 1 just like you list down the combination of truth table in previous uh, topics okay chapter 2 3 or 4 okay so you just know all the combinations okay which is uh, have 16 combination and what happened to your output how we can derive the, the output for this kind of truth table it's actually the same process. You, you need to understand what is this truth table all about. We want to solve what kind of problem. Okay, so this is encoder. So what is the function of encoder? Okay, function of encoder is to translate from decimal to binary. Okay, meaning that whatever value inside this input is actually referring to the decimal number that you need to activate. Okay. what value that you need to press on your calculator something like that okay you assume this is calculator uh, so for example for the second row okay you refer to the second row okay now the the big one is under three this one so by this value okay meaning that you press three on your calculator you press decimal three okay you press decimal three so what happened to your output when you press three you need to convert to binary because encoder is converting from decimal to binary. So what is the des sorry? What is the binary representation for three? Yeah. Uh, so three in decimal is equal to one one in binary. So that's why when you press three, okay, you, your binary will be one one. Okay, so this one. When you press 2, so 2 in binary is 1, 0. Okay. So actually the value in this input represents the number that you need to activate. And 
if you notice to your output, there are some values that x that have x. Why? Because in the encoder, if you remember the explanation, encoder may have uh, several inputs, but you only can activate one number at a time, right? Okay, you only can activate one number at a time. Okay, so why this is x? Okay, you refer to this row. Okay, this row. Okay, what mean by this value? Okay, meaning that at one time, you press number 2 and you press number 3, right? You press 2 and 3 at the same time. So, this cannot be happen in encoder because encoder cannot receive more than one input at a time. So, that's why you put X for both outputs because this uh, situation is cannot be occur. Okay, cannot be occur. Yeah, so that's why you need to put x so what whenever you have more than one values at one time for example for the last row you have four value that uh, activated at one time that's why you need to put x so here all x okay because you activated more than one value at one time so cannot be done in your encoder this is not occur in your encoder yeah, so only four value that uh, is uh, can be occur okay which is value uh, three okay value two and then this one is a uh, value one yeah and the last one is value zero so you have four okay including the first one yeah. and from this okay, you can simplify so simplification, this one is actually you can done by k map. Okay, you can can done by k map. So uh, the difference is actually now your k map have this uh, input. Previous k map that you learned in chapter four, your variable is a, b, c, and d, right? But in this case, your variable is zero, one, two, three. It's actually the same, the same method. Just we we replace the variable instead of a b c we replace by 0 1 2 3 the process is actually the same so i want you to try it by your own how to simplify this truth table by using k map and then you must get this uh, simplified equation for a and also b then after that you will get your uh, logic circuit okay based on the equations right so this is how you uh, solve the problem of encoder how you uh, derive the truth table for your encoder and then uh, the next one how you uh, derive the simplified equation and the last one of course you draw the logic so you have three steps yeah. so i hope you can get the idea of uh, the first part okay, which is encoder